Hey everybody, how's everybody doing today? We are here at the Orange County Zine Fest. I'm your host, Andres Salazar. This is the Art of Comics YouTube channel. Let's go and check out some zines here in Orange County. Everybody, we're back and I just spent about two hours two and a half hours over here at the the Orange County uh, zine fest and I'm about done did some buy-in and uh, I'll show you guys when I get back to the crib what I got basically um, super indie the fun indie alt crowd was there in full effect uh, here at the city of Anaheim's county country whatever library county library city library um, a lot of fun stuff, a lot of great artists actually, a lot of like professional artists doing zines, things like that, which is really cool. I will say that, um, sorry about that, you know, I, sometimes I just gotta do crazy stuff, like put my hand in front of the camera. Um, this is not for, this is not cheap stuff. This is not like, you know, getting a, a 24 page, you know, Ashcan comic book for a buck. You know, you're paying five, eight bucks for a zine, black and white, 24 page. So this is like the big leagues, inflation, this is 2019, this ain't cheap. So I threw down a couple bones, bought some stuff, we're going to go back to the crib, I'm going to show you what I got. I have no idea if this audio is even going to work because it's freaking loud driving down Broadway here in Anaheim. But let me show you what I got and uh, let's talk about it. Hey everybody, okay, we're back at the HQ here at the Art of Comics, and I'm uh, showing you what I got there. So, you know, the um, Orange County Zine Fest, first time I've been there, it is the sixth year doing it. I thought it was actually pretty cool, but let me say that zines are not like they were. This is not uh, for cheap people. This is real deal. This right here which I got, let's see here, this was free. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This was almost 60 bucks right here. So this was, these guys, plus this, this was about $55, $57. Um, which you might say, well, that's pretty good value, but you know, if you're cheap like me, and you buy stuff on the, on the cheap, you can get a lot for 56 bucks. You know, you can get some serious production, you know, mainstream, big comics, hardcover stuff. So it's not like back in the day when you were getting, you know, um, zines for a buck, two bucks, three bucks. These are kind of, now some of these are kind of beefy, right? This is pretty beefy. This was $10. It's beefy. Uh, but, you know, here's the, here's the, the trade-off is this. Yeah, for 56 bucks, I can go to a comic shop, I can go into the quarter bins, or I can like get stuff on Amazon, and I can get a lot of like professionally done stuff. But the whole point of this is you get it from the artist, and this is not a guy who's working for Marvel DC. This is a guy who's just banging this out himself, right? So there is this element of um, it's unique, it's different, you can't get this in stores, so there's a premium to it, you know? Um, this was actually probably one of the more affordable, this was five bucks for a full color, and this is probably 24 to 36 pages, you know? But yeah, they're not cheap. We're gonna go through all this. I had a good time, but I had to stop myself because I could have got more, but I'm a little cheap, and uh, these were not inexpensive, but they were not unfairly priced so let's just say that real quick they're not they're 
properly priced. Just bring some money when you go to a zine fest. I didn't know. I was thinking like, oh, I'm just gonna go and get a bunch of cheap black and white, you know, Ashcan comics, like stuff that I've made in the past. No, brother, you're getting other stuff. So let's just go through it all and uh, we'll just take it one at a time. And I'm gonna put in the note, the show notes, like everybody. So hopefully, uh, if you're watching this, this is one of your books and I'm promoting it because I thought it was cool. And since I'm cheap, um, I'm buying, I, since I bought it, that says something. First one up, Hey Soup Face is the guy, uh, also known as Douglas um, Gothiter, 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 I'm horrible, sorry Douglas. Um, he's called himself Hey Soup Face. So <laughs> him and his wife were there. I really dug this. Um, what I really liked was this kind of cream colored paper. I'm kind of weird. I like things about like the cream colored paper. Um, I do think it's very clean. It's kind of fun. It's very homemade like. I really like the size of it too. And I like this kind of thing they're doing now. I've seen this in a couple places where you get this little uh, like strip here. So I don't know if that's really part of the story or if it's just so people don't flip through the whole thing. Um, I thought this was really kind of fun. This was eight bucks. So you know. You could buy a, uh, you know, you could buy a full trade, you know, for eight bucks or maybe discounted one. But I thought, what the hell? So, uh, Mystery Finder finds mystery. Yeah, I, I dig it. I dug the art. So that's that's one of what I got. Okay. Next up, Dungeons and Dragons. If you know me, you know that I play the old D and Ds. I thought that would be fun to check out. He did a western too. So um, I was like, oh, let's check this out. He's a western guy. I thought this was kind of fun. This is like a kind of a D and D story. It's uh, I think he said it was taken from one of those um, like YouTube. Um, oh, Acquisitions Incorporated. That's what it was. Those guys. So um, this is kind of a take off of them. I thought the art looks pretty fun. Um, you know, digital lettering and stuff. Um, dug it. Wanted to read it. I thought, what the heck. I think this was like five, maybe something like that. So I was like, let's get this. So um, I got it really because it's Dungeons Dragons, to be honest. <laughs> okay, here's more of a traditional zine style. This is Dead in Hollywood. Now, as you know, previous episode, I reviewed um, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. That, of course, is uh, revolving around Sharon Tate. So I thought, hey, Sharon Tate, that's kind of cool. And this is kind of fun. This is like a magazine style. And I really like the way he kind of did the magazine, um, just the design of it all. I want to do design. I want to do like magazines now. <laughs> I want to make a magazine. Uh, <laughs> I know my wife would kill me. Anyway, this looks kind of fun. There's a lot of information. And I don't know much about her at all. So I thought this would be cool to like check out. And he had a bunch. And these were only three bucks. And now that I think about it, I probably should have bought a bunch of them. This is a uh, Castro Burger zine. Uh, what's the guy's name? Uh, da, 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 da. I wanna make sure he gets credit. It'll be in the show notes if I can't find it. Casterburgerblog.com, Dead in Hollywood. Bigcartel.com, Instagram, Dead in Hollywood. He had a lot of fun ones. He had like James Dean one. He had a bunch of uh, different stuff. Dorothy Stratton, don't even know who that is. Um, yeah, so I got that. This is, and it was color, and I was like, oh, that's kind of cool colored zine. So there you go. Excited to check that one out. Uh, what else we got? Two Bit Cubist. Oh, this was free. This was just some guy, this kind of a printout. Don't know what it is. Haven't looked at it yet. Looks like kind of an ad deal. Yeah, it's just a four little page guy. So at 8-Bit Cubist, one up yourself, go check it out. Go check them out, see what that's all about. Um, let me move these out of the way so I don't get, get in our space. Uh, this was a postcard. I like this guy, Sean Andrezart. Um, he had some cool, he had some cool stuff, kind of a de Kooning kind of look. So I just picked up his card. Um, Adam Man, I really like this guy. Philip Flores, I thought he was a nice guy and I liked his art. He had a couple books. There was like three books. I should have got all three, darn it. But again, I was being cheap. Um, so I just bought this $5 one. Should have bought more. Um, 
this is kind of an old retro style stuff, but he had some stuff that reminded me of like, um, you know, the Jimenez brothers. Um, not Jimenez, sorry, Hernandez brothers, Love and Rockets. Um, so I like that. And uh, I got this one though because it was color, to be honest. <laughs> oh, and I like, I like retro stuff. So this is a really nice, production is really nice on this. And I thought, what the heck? You know, not necessarily what I would call a zine. I mean, this is like just a straight up comic book, but um, it's all good, dude. There was a lot of a lot of different stuff. I was probably the only guy that wasn't tattooed, pierced, or you know, colored hair. Nothing's wrong with any of that. I'm just too chicken. The dark pants. Here's a series uh, by this guy Matt. Um, what is it? Mac McFarland. Is it McFarland? MaddieMac.com. Check this out. I bought, this is like book, this is issue four. He had, I think he had three, two. He might have even had one. Again, I did it because I like the art. You know, I'm not really going by much more than the art, honestly, when I go to these type of things. I'm just looking to what inspires me, what looks cool. And since this was the most recent, I figured this, you know, the most recent is generally the best or the one that's the most like refined, you know? So um, I wanted to get it and check it out. It was 10 bucks, a little pricey, but again, uh, you get stuff to, to try it and you gotta throw down a few bucks. So I definitely will go again next year. I'd like to actually exhibit, uh, maybe come up with some, some more. I got some 24 hour comic stuff and things that I could put out that are zine like. Hell, I could just bring Pariah, Missouri too, you know, and just bring a proper comic. Uh, dug it, I like the cover too, it's cute. Uh, now these last two, these were um, ten bucks each. So I spent twenty bucks on this one guy. So he was like almost half of all my money. And the reason why is they're just cool, dude. I just don't know what more to say. I looked at him. I'm like, whoa, this is what I wanted. So let's start with this guy. Um, you can't tell, but this paper is not just normal paper. It's some sort of a screen print paper. Um, it holds the ink really well. It's really cool. I love the design. Everything is very homemade like. It is a anthology. There's tons of artists here. Um, and I just like thought, what the heck is going on? This is kind of like that zap, you know, alt comic stuff that I thought would be really fun. This is what I was hoping the whole show was going to be like. Um, a lot of different neat stuff. And it's got like, this one came with a straight up CD. So this has got a CD in here. Uh, that's cool. There's some colored stuff. There's craziness in here. Um, probably not for little kids. I'll probably just go on a limb on that one. But look at some of the art in here. I mean, this is like, this took like serious time to do. And I respect that. Look at this. This took serious time. So I really dug it. Um, and then, you know, there's all these little, like, extra stuff in here that I just dig. Very artsy, very fun. This guy here, um, jporkkh at gmail.com, dude. Covers. Yeah, great stuff. The other one I got, same guy. Fun, sexy, hate. It has GI. It has a freaking army men here. So I, <laughs> I'm like army men. What the heck? So I was like, okay, I'm getting this one. It's got army men, and it's got all these little things in here. Again, it's it's definitely out there, alt stuff. But I thought it was fun. You don't see. This is why you paid the ten bucks, right? This is stuff you don't get to see. Um, there we go. All kinds of, and then this one had a CD. Look, it's got these little like, these little mini comics inside of here. I mean, there's just tons of stuff. So I thought this is like totally worth it. Really stoked about these two. If I had money, I would have bought like all of those because these are just really fun and they feel very unique and original and like not mass produced, which is kind of the point, okay? So there you go, Art of Comics. That's my little assessment of the uh, Zine Fest. The next episodes, we've got one on, I'm gonna start doing some heavy metal. I need to do Kyle Baker. And we're going to run a Patreon pretty soon. That's right, Patreon is coming. 
and I'll be talking to you guys all about that and let you know, and I want to hear from you what you think about Patreon, and let's see if this is worth doing. Okay, see you guys later. Have a great one. Art of Comics. Go make some comics. Oh, yeah.